As we all know, many folks have been working from home since the start of the pandemic. Now, 18 months later, it may feel like the walls are closing in. So what better way to combat the work from home blues than an office refresh? Here to give us a few tips on how to spruce up a small space without breaking the bank is author of Feels Like Home, transforming your space from uninspiring to uniquely yours. Welcome, Marian Parsons. Great to have you, friend. Hi, Kenneth. Thanks for having me. So let me ask you, what is the biggest mistake people make when it comes to laying out their home office? So this is such an important topic right now, which is why I devoted an entire chapter of my book, Feels Like Home, to workspaces. And in that chapter, I talk about, I think the biggest mistake that people make is they don't really pay attention to the function of the space. It's easy to just buy a desk or a chair or a cabinet because you like the way it looks. But then as you're working, you realize, man, there are a lot of bottlenecks. I'm always having to move things around. Um, it gets frustrating. So this is a good time to pay attention to the function. And I suggest doing a workspace audit where you really pay attention to what tasks you do, how you work, and how you can change your workspace to make it more efficient for you. Function has got to be the most important thing. Okay, so you take care of function, that's addressed. So what are some of the easy and cost-effective ways to upgrade your home offices? Right, so we don't want it to look like we dropped a cubicle right in the middle of our house. We want the home office to fit with our design aesthetic. So I suggest doing a few things to customize just run-of-the-mill office furniture. One of the easiest ways is to replace the hardware. And that takes 10 minutes and a screwdriver. And you can add something that has a little bit more personality to it. Here's a couple of examples. And it's just a nice way to make a piece feel a bit more custom, add a bit more character. I would also suggest painting the furniture. That's a great way to unify pieces that maybe are mismatched or collected. A lot of people are kind of cobbling together a home office. So by painting pieces, it unifies them and it can make a run of the mill piece of office furniture look more high end if you paint it in a really fantastic color. And again, that's a great project for beginners and you can paint just about anything, including laminate and plastic. Of course, you can paint wood. And this, the last option, it does take a, uh, a little bit of sewing, but making a slip cover for that plain old ordinary desk chair, it'll make it look more like a special piece of furniture. And Marion, I think the unfortunate part about home offices is you actually have to work. Uh, so how do you get into the right mindset, even though you're at home? How do you, what tips do you have for that about setting that ambiance? Yeah, there are so many distractions when you work from home, like noise from the next room, from the neighbors, uh, just things to do in the house. So I think it's really important to make sure that you can get into the right mindset and use as many tools as you can to do that. So first of all, pay attention to the sound. Are sounds from the next room you know, bothering you? Maybe use a white noise machine or have a playlist that helps you concentrate. I love listening to Broadway musicals, but that's not what I listen to when I need to concentrate and do my work. So I have a playlist that's just for focused work. And when I put that on, I know, okay, it's time to buckle down and get going. The other thing I would suggest, and this sounds a little odd, but pay attention to the smell. Scents can be very evocative. Like you get a scent of a, a strong whiff of coffee when you walk into your favorite coffee shop and right away your mind is brought to a place. Like you're ready to order your favorite cup of coffee. So use that hack to get your brain in work mode by using a specific candle scent or maybe diffusing an oil that really helps you concentrate and focus. And then the last thing I would suggest is have things in your workspace that inspire you. It can be a literal vision board or an inspiration board. It can be art or quotes, but something that when you get a little stuck or you aren't quite into work, you can look at that and it can bring you right into that mindset. Mm, good information, good tips there. Miriam Parsons, great to have you. We appreciate it. Great, thanks so much, Kenneth. And Feels Like Home is now available for pre-order. Well, hey,
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.